is Cartersville, Georgia's Rico Fry. Here's the kick from Davis, and this will be Ravion Hargrove, and he will take a knee. So the Falcons will start first and 10. Hold on to it. Defensively, let's see how they start. Deggie wants to throw on first down inside, and this is Stephen Miller, or Scott Miller, and he'll have 12 yards for a first down to the 37. Faked it to Claire. Deggie wants to keep it, and boy, got hit and hit hard by Jalen Johnson. That wing to the right. Around the corner, this is Morris, and he will have the first down on the sweep across midfield. To seal the edge, big pickup on the opening drive. Deggie inside, and this is Miller going to work. Inside the 35, and another Bowling Green. First down to the Georgia Tech 32 already on Scott Miller's third catch. A lot of the base of those air raid offenses will throw short and run long. The ball is caught, and the catch made out on the perimeter. That's R.B. Marlowe, the third, hauling it in. And he will be close to another first down. Here's a nice look at it. Nicely thrown football. Defensive coordinator Nate Woody on the near side signaling something back to his unit. Here's the throw, and that's Derek. Pudavong. Receivers holding on to these footballs. These haven't been easy catches. Here's a throw backside, and that is Morris. Another catch on first down for a yard or so is Bowling Green. All for not fumbling it away. That's Denley in motion. He'll get the handoff on the sweep, trying to get to the perimeter, and Georgia Tech rallies. Carpenter, the safety polished him off after Johnson got to him initially. Sophomore. Is it two or three field goal tries this year, and this is 29 yards, and the kick is good. 3.5 yards per game allowed rushing, and Marshall's going to throw on the first snap for Jalen Camp, who makes the catch in territory at the Falcon 37-yard line ahead of free safety Jerry McBride. Knowing that that run's coming, you know, <laughs> work on it all week, all week, all week, when you get right out the gate. Not only a pass, but a beautifully thrown pass to camp by Taquan Marshall. Marshall may not be a world beater when it comes to throwing the football. It's never been done in the better than 125 years. Marshall on the option keeper to the far side, and he will fall down fall shy fall of the 26. Down. It might be enough for the first down as Marcus Milton the nickelback was in coverage for the Falcons. From defenses, but not, not so extreme as you did these last couple plays. Here's Mason bouncing inside. First and goal, Georgia Tech on the run by Jordan Mason. Brandon Harris, the leading tackler for the Falcons on the stop. Up a, a hole a little bit bigger than you're used to around here. Cersei in motion, they'll hand it to Mason. Touchdown. Second rushing score of the year for Jordan Mason. Every snap, just like you always talk about, holding serve when the Georgia Tech team's playing. It's get a sense that Georgia Tech's going to be tough to stop today. Daggy flush throws, and that's Morris, another catch, and he'll be right around the mark for the first and should have it. In fact, his progress. Defense needs to make a big play here, get off the field. Daggy across the middle, broken up and knocked away by Trey Swilling. I'm sure that dad is really pleased with that off-line trivia question. Thanks for reminding me. It's going to ring pretty clear. Here's Marshall on the pitch, and this is Searcy. Quay Searcy to the 45. Good job. Torian Hampton the stop. Yellow Jackets because everybody down the field is doing their job. Bodies on the ground, continuing to block way down the field. Jalen Camp, who had the big catch earlier. All right. Here's Marshall, and he will have it. Broke the plane. Nice play right there. Here's Marshall looking to throw. Going to tee it up for Jalen Camp, who makes the catch inside the 10. Right over the top of Monte Gregory goes the throw from Taquan Marshall. Go big out there. Use that body. Use your body. Be physical. Go up for the ball and own it. It's exactly what he does here on the end of a nicely thrown Marshall football. Fresh off the bench, hasn't taken many snaps this year. Third goal. Oliver tried to get there on the follow, fights his way, and gets to the one. Brandon Harris, the linebacker, was there. Marshall under center. Fourth and goal. And he will fall into the end zone on the final play of the period. Taquan Marshall, sixth rushing scorer of the year. 
for the Georgia Tech touchdown. At the end, this is about the timing. Exactly. And Marshall broke the plane. He's in. The right. ball has crossed the white or touched the white, which then would qualify as a touchdown. I think it might be a timing yeah. issue. Well, it, it, and if and if that's on, if that's keyed up right there, it's it was snapped. It's. I don't think this has. Not could be wrong here, James, but I think you're on it here with the timing. Yeah. Downtown Atlanta as a quarterback at Georgia Tech was Eddie McShannon. Out of the backfield, here's R.B. Marlowe from Lakeland, Florida, by the way. Receiver does as well. Didn't get the first that time, but he does this time. That's Scott Miller. That's the go-to guy. That is the senior. Needs to catch that. Here's a quick throw. This is Miller again off the play fake. And he will dive out to what is close to a first down. You know, sometimes that, that tempo, it, it can can throw defenses off. It can, you can throw yourself off, too. Tenth play of the drive. Looking toward the end zone now. And a diving catch, Derek Poudamon. Touchdown, Bowling Green. Well, he couldn't connect with Popez. It wasn't his fault. Again, throws a dime. I mean, a beautifully thrown. There's plenty of it. That's the one out there. Here comes Marshall. He'll keep it on the option. Taquan turns it up. First down to the 41 for Georgia Tech. 15-yard run from Marshall. Well, you got to be consistent. Back-to-back -back place. You can't have guys overrunning. Guys getting cut. Marshall taking, taking advantage of it all. After you go backwards on the first play, puts his foot in the ground, and a nice job there. Even more balance. And they're going to give him those opportunities. Here he is again. Going to throw deep. Clinton Lynch is there. Caught. Inside the 20. And it was. Well, how about it? And you mentioned it, partner. All those guys in the box, you got to stop the bleeding somehow. But in doing so, you weaken the opportunity to cover. Also, when you got those ears pinned back, you got to. Congratulations. It's, you know, and, and one thing we, the stat you don't see is that it's a job he does blocking all the time. Yep. A lot of teams have to have three down line because they don't have too many big bodies. There's Cottrell on the toss. He'll score the touchdown. Nathan Cottrell's second rushing score behind the blocking of Will Bryan out on the perimeter. Ryan's out there. Let's watch, watch Searcy as well. Look at these guys on the edge. Boom. That's Quay. Searcy's going to get down there, going to stay up high. 180 yards and a dozen scores. Now on third and the full 10. There's Miller, first down, 40. And midfield is where Scott Miller goes. Boy, he's been dangerous today, especially from the slot, 25 yards. Protection. They come with a four-man rush, and they don't get there. So many different things you could run. Helping them out here. Georgia Tech runs four at them, and here's Morris, but it's offline and out of bounds. For this offense, got those big hitters like that. It's Jerry Howard, the sophomore, straight ahead. Howard plays the ball. 2012. How's that video catalog working? Here's Marshall, a little counter, and the pitch, and Nathan Cottrell sets sail. Cottrell breaking free. Hard running across midfield. More fun when you, when you got that momentum going. Look at him firing off up front. Parker Braun. Now watch, on the ground. How many times do you hear me say you can't make plays on the ground, get up off the ground defensively? Well, it goes for the offense, too. Offense against Pitt. Had him on the heels. Cottrell trying to get to the corner. He will and works his way inside the 40. So his, per, his percentage should never be super high. Taquan the pitch. Here's Lynch. And he'll be close to another first down. Brandon Harris, the linebacker, making his 29th career start today. You know, Clemson did a good job of taking this away, forcing everything, pushing it way out to the edge, not let him turn that corner last weekend. Marshall, counter play this time. And a late pitch, Searcy first down, and then took a shot out of bounds, and that'll add to it. The hit came from Brandon Harris, the linebacker. It's been a fairly clean first half in terms After of After the play was over, personal foul, late hit out of bounds. Number one, defense. And it hasn't been quite as smooth as, as they had hoped. Marshall, diving will score. 
Two on the day, seven on the year for Hamilton, Georgia's Taquan Marshall. The toe of Taquan Marshall, it was an issue early on. He's done a good job of putting that foot in the ground and going north and south here today. It's looking like that toe's getting, I got you. That was my algae. Boo, Get oh, it? boo, got it, yeah. It's good. Well, thanks, Will. <laughs> Nicely done. Here's Hargrove from the two. First time we've seen Rabion Hargrove on the return. He'll split back up the field and cross the 30 to the 31. And with 25 seconds left. Hit the road, go to college. After this timeout, let's see what they got. Backdoor throw, wide side of the field. That's Marlowe. Another catch by R.B. Marlowe will get him a first down. Clock will stop with 10 seconds left, but BG's out of timeout. Eight seconds left for Daggy and the Falcons. Sacked. St. Amore has terrorized this first half. From Sewanee, Georgia. Making a living back there. He's got to put a body on him. First down, play fake for Marshall. Uh-oh, another guy running loose. And the ball is caught. And this is Steven Dolphus out of Westside High School in Mason. It's in making it 6-5 that hauled it in from Taquan Marshall. Uh, Taquan Marshall, you know, he, it's, there's a happiness, but it's also a little bit of a frustration because he just he had to wait so long on and had about five steps on the defender. <laughs> had to wait and come back. It's fortunate Georgia oh, Tech stance and they, the ability to come back and drop him. Straight ahead, Mason. He will go untouched. 33 yards for the touchdown. Touchdown run of the day for Mason. You know, again, it's interesting. You've got a, a Georgia Tech offensive line. I had a talk with Sean Bedford, who was a great center here. Keep the energy going. There's a blitz off the edge. They call that a catch, and the ball is thrown behind Denley incomplete. And now flag's going to be thrown. And that is a late hit, I believe, against First Johnny foul. Kerr. Roughing the passer, number 38, defense, 15-yard penalty. Automatic first down. Knock off that helmet after the play. Here's Rico Fry from just up 75 at Cartersville. Mm -hmm. Involved in that party. Daigie, ball is loose, scooped up. Big fella. And I think Desmond Branch had it, and he did. Just unblocked on, on the edge, Victor Alexander, my goodness. That's your, your best rusher coming off the edge, and there's nobody there for him, the mix-up. And big Desmond Branch, oh, there was plenty of rumbling and stumbling. But just untouched quarterback's blind side. Jerry Howard to be back. Here's Marshall with a bit of a follow play. Depending on the forward spot, they the first down. down. He got gang tackled by the Falcons. Clint Stevens was first. Straight ahead, Howard. He'll walk in the end zone. Six for six of the Jackets now, James. Jerry Howard into the end zone for the first time in 2018 for Georgia Tech. To watch the guard. Look at him. I mean, down, when you've got three big offensive linemen. Bryson Denley, who can really run. Okay, you're going to fake it. Now give it a, again, Hargrove. First down, working toward the 35. He was one of the best sprinters in Texas. Texas ran a 10-4-7 in high school. Middle of the field, this is uh, Wayne Prather with the catch. And Bowling Green's got a little momentum on a 20-yard play. Dig, quick throw this time, middle of the field. And that is R.B. Barlow, the third. Another first down. Trying to get back on track after a loss to Notre Dame and Boston College. Middle of the field throw. Oh, big hit put on. As Miller hauls in another. Low getting up there, too. And, and this is an example. Here you get, you've got some time. Able to roll by, by a couple of Third down. Play fake. Long throw. The catch made Marlowe. Inside the five, and he fumbled it. And oh. Georgia Tech got it in the end zone with Jalen Johnson. Was that a touchback? Goal line stand here for Georgia Tech. They go to a power set to the left side. Daigie tried to get in the end zone, and this is on third and goal, and I don't think he got in this time. And then now they're ruling him in. <laughs> 
The fight around the chalk. Passing them around in the stands. There's the initial surge. Saying a more. Well, he looks in. <laughs> well, I guess. <laughs> well, uh, well, but the thing is, is it took so long to, to say it's a touchdown. Right. You know how you talked about uh, having the lasers for Ferguson yeah. Green? Try to get back on track in his senior year. Here's the pitch. Omari Jarrett diving out of bounds. Juan Marshall got banged up a little bit, and that was the game that they lost Benson as well. There's a fake to Mason and Oliver loose. And here comes his fourth touchdown run. Touchdown, 34 yards for Tobias Oliver. And following that, that lead man, and just getting through that, that initial wave, doing such a good job up front. Really impressed with the offensive line of Georgia Tech here today. Now they finally they earned the right to go back down and cut a few people on that one. Taking it to the house the rest of the way is Tobias Oliver. Design follow of that B back right there and leads off to the races. And orange and brown and number two at quarterback reminds you a little bit of Tim Cow. <laughs> Here's Rico Fry. 30, 35, one of the better runs of the day. First down bowling. Nice job up front. Good job of getting up and moving there by John Kurt. And a pair of backup quarterbacks involved in that, by the way. Here's the long throw. This is another catch for Miller. And he'll break free and step down the near sideline for a first down. Third and short for the Falcons. And Hargrove, I don't believe, will get there. And it'll be fourth down for Mike Jenks here. Of the game, we'll do it again. And Nagy just slams into the line, running behind his center bright. Two studs on the outside. They've still got Miller, but they got to be third down here. Third and the full 10. Here's the pressure. They get it to Hargrove with blockers in front. Ravion Hargrove inside the 15 to the 10. Man, tough, nice play call here. You get everybody coming after it, thinking you're going to get another big play, and a sack on third down, set up perfectly for the screen. Green can continues to try to hammer away, but Daigie, end zone, intercepted, David Curry. Linebacker coach coached up Red Curry right here. Watch those quarterbacks' eyes, just too easy. Interception for the Yellow Jackets. It's going to happen. Man. Syracuse has just scored, and they're trying to push it back to a 10-point lead early in the fourth at Tiger Town. And here's Oliver on the run again for Georgia Tech to start the drive. Wouldn't that be a lesson to all these kids? I mean, you look across the college football landscape, and all these kids that. There's Oliver looking for camp and incomplete. DJ Durkin was a player for Urban Meyer. That's right. Some of those good teams. And here is Denley. He'll have the first down across the 21. Uh, to graduation, but they've got a quarterback. If they can put some weapons around him, they could really be scary. Uh oh! oh! Really? St. Amour gets the pick six. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So that, it's Branch that gets his hand on it. That's a big old branch. Puts the limb up there. Type of kid is a lot like these Ohio kids. Third and short. Take you to throw. And Wayne Prather, another catch. And Jordan Wayne Prather will have a first down. He's knocked out of bounds by Jalen King. Here's Loy. Wayne Prather, the catch. That'll be a first down. Here's Loy. He wants to keep it. And he'll be tripped up inside the 40 and 38. So a pickup of about seven on the play. Wonder about your plan of attack today for the Deacons. <laughs> Here's Loy, quick throw in and out of the hands of Saul Miller, who had a catch in the first half. We are talking about it on the phone call earlier this <laughs> week, and I was just picturing the little yellow slip and slide. Tobias Oliver is gone. 62 oh, yards. And the Jackets go over the 60 mark.
And Tobias Oliver filling in for Taquan Marshall and doing a pretty good job. It's off to the races again. I don't think he's been touched yet. Fiction. Very memorable Halloween, as I recall. <laughs> Here's Lamar trying to get outside, and he gets wrestled to the ground shy of the first down. And you can't ask for more if you're a Georgia Tech fan when it comes to resetting after the, the struggles. And, you know, and everybody expected them to struggle against Clemson, but the other two kind of messed with them a little bit, but hopefully got out of that funk. 63-17 the final. Georgia Tech gets a second win on the season against Bowling Green.